Hi everybody, welcome to the Creswell Jigsaw for the case study. The case study can be found in the Creswell text uh, in, in Appendix F. Um, this presentation is brought to you by Kara Smith, Kenneth Croson, and Ben Hurt. And we apologize for the text-heavy slide here, um, but it's important to kind of lay out the foundation of the article. Here we see the purpose, method, and that the case was within a larger context, right? The case study was really examined from uh, a previous research study um, that, that was much bigger. The emerging research question for the case study uh, is to, to provide specific examples from one teacher's experience. So if we look at this text-heavy slide, right, what we see the case is a, is a bounded case within one teacher, Gunila. Um, <clears throat> we have a little bit of information there about the, the purpose uh, that we took straight from the article. Um, and the, the way that data was collected, right? Two semi-structured interviews and a contextual observation. The emerging research question um, is, is what are examples of how relational and professional practice is assisting students to overcome obstacles and be more successful in school. And we found that this really came from the purpose that was explicitly stated in the article, and it just kind of develops through, through reading, the, um, reading the case study that that's, that's really what they're after here, is what are specific examples from this one teacher? How did Gunila accomplish these things? And so it's important to understand the context of this case study. Um, therefore, we, we thought it's important to know the methods and the findings from the original qualitative study done by Fralin in 2010. <clears throat> and so as we mentioned before, the, the method uh, of the original study for gathering data were two semi-structured interviews that kind of sandwiched um, a contextual observation. <clears throat> and it noted that in the first interview, uh, the, the researcher really focused on just getting to know the teacher and eliciting stories of practice and practical arguments. And then the observations were used to come up with new questions or come up with some critical follow-up from the first interview so that then in the second interview um, <clears throat> could, really, could really create some good follow-up and create some good, good um, follow-up questions. In the original study, um, the analysis of the informant stories came up with three overarching themes um, <clears throat> for creating positive teacher-student relationships. These themes revolved around negotiating trusting relationships with the students, humane relationships with the students, and the students' uh, own self-image was critical. And so then as we look more specifically at the case study, <clears throat> and we say, uh, really, what, what is this? What does it look like? This article is a good example of how you can analyze a specific case from, from previously collected data, right? It wasn't an independent research study. Um, this article encompasses multiple research techniques, um, and it's certainly a case study since there's a bounded system, right? Gunila is a single person. Um, but it also encompasses some elements of narrative inquiry because it uses Gunila's stories to relate her to the purpose of the article, right? To trace and exemplify relational and professional practice. And so here we see, you know, with a little Venn diagram, how the, the Gunila article um, settles in there as, as kind of both narrative and, and case study. Okay, on to the main points. Um, and again, from, from the original study, kind of uh, establishing these things, um, that it's necessary to lay a foundation upon which a relationship can be built, purposeful communication, um, caring, as well as the environment. That was, that was something that emerged here too. Um, The results from this case study analysis 
proved illustrations of practice, right? Specific practice of Gunila. Examples of Gunila's story and how she has found success in her work. Um, the author repeatedly notes that this is an ideographic study and it's not meant to make generalizations, but rather to provide the reader with examples to help them with their own judgment. Um, <clears throat> and so here on the screen, we see kind of some of the emerging practical examples from Gunila, right, in, in the boxes at the bottom of the screen there. <clears throat> For example, in the humane relationships, something that Gunila really uh, felt strongly about is that you, you have to know their names and, and details of their lives, and, but it has to be genuine. Students will, will see through if you're being phony. Um, and she thought that laughing at herself uh, and, and really illustrating that she's not perfect made her seem more of a human to them and it crea created a more trusting relationship. So in looking at the aspects of research, um, although this case was selected to represent the larger study by this author, uh, the sample size permitted the author to limit it to a case study um, as evidenced by the above parameters. <clears throat> right, two areas that could have been expanded were the modalities of data collected and the details of the analysis. As we read through the article, we can see that the analysis and the details were few other than uh, kind of comparisons. They were really just honing in on the details of Gunila. And in the conclusion, there's a big, uh, a big aspect to the article is how can, how can Gunila's experience and, and practice help others in the school setting, right? And really focused on um, additional staff outside of teachers and perhaps school psychologists and how uh, teachers and school psychologists can work together. As we look at, at how this could be uh, viewed from, from a different lens, uh, right, in, in the research article it was viewed through the case study um, with an emerging research question. Uh, but if we look at a, a plan B with regards to methodology, um, the, the data might look more like journal entries over a continuum of time. The interview questions could be redesigned to focus on the perspective of the teachers in the program. Um, her reflections overall, as well as daily misusings, uh, I'm sorry, daily musings and anecdotes. <clears throat> it might also be wise to collect data from other teachers involved in the program to compare data for relevant themes. Um, this might also help the connection to the inclusion of the portion of the original report regarding the need for support from the school psychologists, not only for the student themselves, but also for these teachers in this unique and emotionally intensive program. All right, so that's a way that we could kind of look at this um, specific situation uh, from a different, different research tradition. We hope that you've enjoyed this presentation.